Uh, good morning, class. Uh, please take your seats and we'll get rolling here right away. My name is Dr. Sheets, and you can call me Professor Sheets, or you'll probably call me worse things before we're done here this semester. Welcome to medical school. This is your first day in medical school and your first class in medical school called Gross Anatomy. You're very privileged to be here, and I hope you appreciate it. One of the finest medical schools in the country. Uh, most of you folks are quite talented and intelligent. There are a few of you, however, I'm sure, and I will find out, that are dumber than posts. You're being here only occasioned by your parents being quite wealthy. Nonetheless, I'm going to help you get through medical school, and I'll do my very best if you'll do your very best. So welcome to uh, medical school, and we'll get started, uh, well, right away. One of the first questions people usually ask is why this class is called Gross Anatomy, of all things. Well, I'll tell you what. You're going to next week, I believe the first of the week, go down to the Gross Anatomy Lab, and you're going to there find why it's called Gross Anatomy. You will find uh, many, many human remains there, which you will uh, participate in taking apart and learning all about all the little parts and pieces. That is the uh, purpose of gross anatomy, to identify systems and various organs and things of that sort. And let me tell you, I haven't been to medical school for years as a student, but I'm still disgusted about that room. So I hope you enjoy yourselves. Largely this course, however, is rote memory. Uh, it won't be enjoyable, but this is how we sometimes separate the, sheeps, the sheep from the goats. So enjoy your time here with me and really enjoy your time in the gross anatomy lab. Now, the first thing out of the box I would like to discuss with you is a system that's collectively known as the pussy. Shocked you, didn't I? Well, I do this not only to wake you up, but to instruct you that when you're in practice, people are not going to come into you and talk about their fallopian tubes or whatever. What you're going to hear is uh, my pussy sore or I think I got the suit. You know, the suit. And you're supposed to be a smart doctor, but you never heard that term, now have you? So we're going to use some of these terms uh, so to help you get some street language and knowledge as we go along, in addition to learning about these systems and organs. Oh, suit. Somebody tells you that, that means there's something up in there. You are going to go fishing. Before we go too much further, I thought I'd give you a little bit of history. Uh, in the early Industrial Revolution, there was a gynecologist and engineer named Dr. Helmut Schwark. He was an uh, Austrian uh, doctor and quite interested in engineering. And he had some thoughts about the female re reproductive system vis-a-vis -vis, uh, a machine. And he promulgated the idea that, look, this is a perfect, perfect engineered machine. It is self-lubricating, changes its own oil every four weeks. It can be started with your finger. The only downside of it, of course, is the management system is somewhat temperamental. Well, that'll just about do it for today. But uh, so next session, so the gentlemen in the class do not feel slighted, we will be talking about that magnificent member, the wiener. So I'm sure you've all taken a look at one of those at one time or another, so uh, be prepared for next week's uh, lecture. Now, if there are any questions, I'll be happy to entertain whatever. Oh, yes, yes, back there. And uh, what's your name? Miss Oglethorpe, Miss Oglethorpe. Uh, yes, never seen one. Really? How old are you, Miss Oglethorpe? 23. Well, I want you to see me in my office right after class. <laughs>